Well, good afternoon. What a glorious day here in Kansas City, Missouri. This is Pastor Hayton and the Lord Lights Devotional. We've been doing our little devotional Monday through Friday now for probably eight or nine years. Uh, just doing my best to kind of connect with people that uh, I know and people that know me. And even though we don't have a huge following, I'm sure, yet I'm thankful for those that allow me to sit down with them each day and share my heart and my mind. Try to be inspirational, but not always am I inspirational. And this is going to be one of those days when I'm not so inspirational. Because I was reading in the book of Isaiah, and Isaiah declared that even when he was in the womb, God called him by name. I know today that abortion has become a great issue in our country. Uh, in fact, it's not just the United States of America, but worldwide. It is a great issue, and it's become somewhat controversial. And if you think that it's too controversial for the Lighthouse, or for the Lord Light's devotional, well, uh, I'm sorry about that. I just felt like this is something that I needed to share today because I believe there's too much silence about this sin of taking the lives of the unborn. I marvel at the number of people who claim to love God people who claim to be a follower of Christ, people who claim that uh, they're obeying the scripture, and yet today they have a very callous attitude toward abortion, the killing of the unborn. I just kind of looked up an abortion counter on the internet just a while ago, and here's what I would share with you. I think it's terrible. United States today, it's today only 1,520.7. That's several minutes ago. There's one uh, baby uh, killed every 30 seconds in America. The United States so far this year, 157,069. Worldwide, since 1980, 1,567,285,000. 869, Planned Parenthood. Many who approve of our politicians funding at such a place. They have since 1970, they have uh, killed over 8,712,451 uh, innocent lives. Uh, we say, well, we've got to keep them because their incidents due to incest or uh, rape or a uh, mother is entitled to an abortion. 1,523 this year due to that. And so the majority of it, it's just unplanned pregnancy or unwanted pregnancy, and we decide that we're going to do away with our children. Well, like I say, I grew up in a very evangelical home. I grew up thinking that a lot of things were wrong. And we know that some of the things that we taught that were wrong uh, were a cultural uh, teaching or something like that. But I believe the Word of God is very clear today on uh, uh, life before birth. I believe that uh, you can find so many references in the Scripture. David said, even before I was conceived, and I think that certainly Jeremiah, he laid claim that even while he was in the, in the womb, God called him to be a prophet among the nations. Then Isaiah said that he called me by name long before I was born. Well, I think that we Americans, we need to examine ourselves today. I don't know how anyone can support politicians that actually cheer when a bill is passed to allow the murder of young children even after birth. Uh, I think as a nation today, we need to reassess just where we are in respect to the sanctity of life. Uh, yes, you don't hear it often and you won't hear it a lot from me, but today I just felt impressed to share that I believe that the church needs to begin to cry out again against this terrible sin of murdering the unborn. Heavenly Father, forgive us as a nation as we have been so callous and so careless in the consideration of the lives of those that have not been born. But Lord, we believe that certainly 
Life begins at conception. All life is to be uh, respected and it's to be revered. Lord, we pray that would help us as a nation get back to what God has to say about what is pleasing to you and what it brings your wrath. And bless us throughout the day and on down throughout the journey of life. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that's my little rant. I'll see you tomorrow or Monday on the Lord Likes Devotional here with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.